Hello everyone, this is Loopy Liss and welcome back to 60 Seconds where we are probably going to die. But you know, it's uh, we're just gonna keep going on. I mean, um, I don't think Timmy's doing too good. Dolores is uh, also not doing too good and Ted is definitely, definitely not doing very good at all. You know, being dead and all. Uh, so let's get straight back into things. Is that gonna disappear? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we grabbed our new fluffy friend. Oh, that was a bunny. Uh, right? Oh, was it a cat? That was a cat, yes. Uh, the great entity with- the I've read this, haven't I? Yeah, the cat didn't seem to mind, or maybe it's for the best. Yes, Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy and he's doing just fine. There has to be some water left. Dolores should get it. I'm gonna give them both some water. Um, really need a med kit. Probably gonna die. Um, yes, so... Let, uh, let's pack for an expedition, it's not gonna go well. It seems that for every cockroach we squash with our boots, the others take its place. It's time to do something about it before we get completely overrun. We have something for that now. So let's try that. Day 25. Alright, we're still not looking great, but, you know. Uh, victory is ours, the roaches lie defeated. Oh, this is a glorious day for all remaining humanity. Humans are the dominant species once again. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. Yes, yes, yes. We haven't done anything about Dolores' sickness yet. I know, I can't do anything about it. Uh, Dolores, you're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to, like, just try and do something for us. Just go out empty-handed. Don't take anything with you. I'm sorry, Dolores. You're not gonna make it back, I know. Oh! Cat's back! Ah! To our surprise, we found Sharikov back in our shelter this morning. We're not exactly sure why or how it came back. Is it our good care it appreciates, our kind hearts, optimism, or just our stockpile of soup cans? Only time will tell. Timmy is looking very pale, that's not good. Dolores is gone. We're gonna have to just keep trying. Uh, if there's anyone who can rescue us from this hell hellish situation, hellish, hellish, hello. It's our government. You can badmouth them all you want, but they probably means you're either a naysayer or a call me. Uh, if we haven't got a radio, we're gonna have to just skip that again. We're gonna die. We're gonna die and then we're gonna have to restart. The cat? Look at the cat. The cat's so pretty. I like the cat. Uh, if there is one thing we need to do is use a radio on a regular basis. Yes, we haven't got that. Uh, okay, uh, Timmy needs some water. So he got back to the shuttle from his expedition and looked fine, but it turned out he had hurt his hand on a piece of rusty metal and the wound was infected. It doesn't look like it's healing up. We have to patch it. We haven't got anything. I picked up the wrong stuff when we started this. Day 28. Yep, the cat's still here. Timmy's gonna die. The best medicine for any sickness or injury is to clench your teeth and ignore it. That's what our grandma always said. Of course she's dead now and has been for a while, ever since she got that nasty frog by at the fine age of 25. <laughs> Timmy is still quite sickly. Uh, still can't do anything about it. A loud crash, a surprise shriek, and a bit of debris falling from our ceiling. Truly a recipe for a good start to the day. As it turns out, Sharikov found a new toy, a bit of an incon... inconctuous wiring that it ripped out of the wall. Who knows what the cable's for, but our lights are still on, so it can't be that important, right? We should take the wire from our fluffy friend and investigate Yes, yes we should. Could be, could be, um, a problem. Ooh! The door opened. Dolores isn't back. We followed the wire outside and found a half-burned out truck with two surprised gentlemen inside, surrounded by an array of blinking bulbs. That's some space tech right there. Were they listening in on this? Or in our very own shelter? Their feeble excuse about a roadside picnic didn't convince us. Even Timmy knows you can't have picnics here, and the car had no wheels. Uh, Timmy is very hungry. Timmy's not a fan of stranger, but he needs a big one. The sooner the better. I can't do anything about that, but you are hungry, so I can feed you. Uh, the agents who are spying on us are now at the door and want to explain themselves. Should we hear them out? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Day 30. I can't believe we're still alive. I think Timmy. I don't think Dolores is coming back. 
They briefly waved some sort of ID cards in front of our faces and told us they're on a top secret government mission. The wiretap wasn't to spy on us, but rather on the cat. It's suspected of being a Soviet agent. Okay. They're willing to let us into their t super top secret government safe house if we help them with some of their top secret missions. They assured us that they'd contact us again with more details. Uh, okay, Timmy needs water. We have enough water. If Sharikov considers our shelter its home now, we might as well try to get along. We need to try to carry it around and pet it on the head. All cats like a good pet, and Sharikov should hopefully be no exception. Otherwise, any attempt to touch the cat could lead to our untimely deaths. Might as well just try and play with the cat. Day 31. Uh, still no Dolores. The cat's looking good. I, I, I got a fear. I got a bad feeling. We're gonna die. Got a, got a bad, 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 bad feeling. Uh, the cat escaped our warm, friendly embrace and jumped to the other side of the shelter. Knocking a water bottle off of the shelf in the process. No! It shattered and left a dirty puddle as if to remind us of the questionable choices that we led that led us here. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's keep going. We were about to- we? Okay, I'm assuming him and the cat because no one else is here. We were about to finish our dinner, if you can call it that, when we heard someone knocking on the door. It seems to be a trader who is very interested in ammunition. Sure. Give us something good. Oh. The end? The end? What happened? Uh, our visitor was happy to get some ammunition in return. He offered us rations. It wasn't much, but something is always better than nothing. Ah, a pair of strangers probably bandits searched the remains of our house above. We overheard them talking. One of them mentioned they'd captured a woman whose description matched Dolores. We don't think they will let her go. We didn't make it. These are our final words and our advice to anyone who reads this obscured writing. Okay, well, we survived a couple of days. And not great. Okay, okay. You perished. Yes, we did. Uh, water consumed 6.25, 32 days, soup consumed 6. Two out of four were successful expeditions, five items brought from expeditions. Uh, yeah. Okay, well. It's, it is how it is, isn't it? You know, it's just how it is. It's gotta be like that. It's gotta be like that. And we are back to the main menu. So let's go straight back in and try again. Let's do it. We'll go classic. We'll go to the same place. And I think I can... I, I am going to start with this guy. I'm going to start with him this time. Let's see if we can pick up some better items to start off with. I am no... I did notice that there is a slight delay on the clicking. But, you know. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where can I see a medkit? The radio. The radio. That is the first thing we need to grab. Okay, let's do it. Click, 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 click! Okay, water, well, uh, yep. Okay, there's uh, nothing else in here. Alright, alright, alright. Axe, uh, grab our daughter. Yep, grab our daughter. Throw her in, there is a delay. Grab that, need the med kit, really, but... Uh, as long as we grab... Timmy and the map. Uh, anything else? Ooh! The book. Okay, okay, drop, 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 drop. Soup, soup, wife. And uh, we need some water, really. I can't find the med kit. I cannot find the med kit. Water. Yep. Yeah, uh, whatever that is down there. Can I click it? Can I click it? Yes, I can. Uh, some more of that. And soup. Uh, water, rather. Ah. Okay, uh, anything else? Uh... Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Ah! I didn't realize how close it was. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. The end. Yeah, well. And that was looking pretty good as well. Ah! 
Okay. Okay, guys, the last minute there did not happen. We're gonna go again for this, the, our, only our second time, not our third time. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is our second go. <laughs> oh. Okay, medkit. Where's the radio? Where's the radio? I see the radio. Okay. Water. Oh, bug spray as well. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, this should be better now. Come on, time. Okay, yep. Grab that. Yep, grab the water. Yes, we're going over there. Timmy's right here as well, so I can grab you. I'll grab you and I'll grab the wife. And yes, in we go. Uh, grab some soup, because soup is good. Grab us so much soup. Uh, we need our daughter. Oh god. Need water. That is the radio. But sure. Where's our daughter? 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 There she is. Coming, darling. There we go. Hello. Welcome. I can't carry anything else. Okay, I'm not going to mess this up again. I'm going to be careful. Okay, uh, water. Yes. I think I have time to grab that gun. And that's it. Oh, the ammunition. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay. I didn't... Did I... I got a knife kit. Yes, okay. Right, 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 right. That is better. That was way better. Right. I got everyone in the family, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oof. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Day one. Yeah, no, this is looking better. This is looking way better. Wow. Okay. Uh, all of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was close. Uh, we remember being here in canned soup is healthy for you. Yes. We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really work in your favor. We got a map. That's really handy. Oh, we're lucky here. One of us must have hid this inside the suitcase a while ago. We're so lucky we took that suitcase. Harmonica. That was all that was in the suitcase. Okay. <laughs> all right so yeah it's the same the same chat as before so i'll skip it for now uh one minute was all fine the next we were at each other's throats how did this happen this is insane we need to get a grip on ourselves if we are going to survive this let's just sleep on it okay feeling confident feeling confident all right we could barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope it won't happen again. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane. Uh, Timmy is making the best out of this situation. Dolores is in a good mood. Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He is okay. Right, I'm feeling like this is going to be a better run now. Um, We're not going to be able to do the whole thing this episode, but we can make a start. We can make a start. Oh, the gas mask. Oh, no. Yeah, there's always one thing you're going to forget. All right, we can't do an expedition yet, then. Uh, we woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It was like someone or something was watching us. We could have sworn we noticed movement in the shadows. If anything besides us is alive in the bunker, it's time to teach it who is the boss around here. Yes, let's use, yes, you, let's use the axe. Yeah. Day three. Okay, the axe is still um, good and well. Whatever it was, it's dead now. Quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of those nasty little holes. Uh, everyone needs a drink of water. That's that's good. I'm gonna like not give them water yet. I'm gonna wait one more day and then I give them water. We were never huge fans of mushrooms, but with a colony of them growing on one of the walls, we changed our loyalties. We're all about mushrooms now. Should we eat them? Mm, no. I ain't gonna say no. That could be bad. Okay, day four. Alright, alright, we're all still alive. We may be hungry, but there are just some things we will never eat. Wall fungus is one of them. Alright, everyone still needs water. Alright, let's chill. You can all have water. Uh, still highly radioactive, so we won't do that. We might be safe inside these walls, but there are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. 
We have to deal with this as soon as possible, otherwise we might end up falling asleep in the face of real danger. Danger like saucer men from Mars. I'm not wasting the medkit. No. You guys can pull through it. Get fatigued for a while or something. Oh, only you were. Uh, I think you too. That's okay. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we try to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were and there are other problems we'll need to face soon. So Mary Jane is really tired. Timmy is fine. Dolores is fine. Ted says there's no need to worry about him. Okay, that's okay. I'm not gonna read everything by the way because there's a lot of text and it kind of does my throat in honestly. But the things that I feel like I've already read in a previous episode, I'm not going to go over again. Just because I'm just repeating the same thing then. Uh, oh. Good news everyone. The government just announced they would be dropping crates filled with supplies in our area. Finally, they are useful for something. We should head out to get to those crates as soon as possible. Grabbing some protection gear might not be a bad idea. We cannot do that. I haven't got a mask. We have everything else, but not a mask. All right, well, it's just how it's gotta be, isn't it? It was too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. Uh, everyone is fine. Ted is hungry. Okay, well, he's gonna be hungry because he's, uh, he's bigger than everyone else, so I'm gonna wait another day before I feed him. Uh, still radioactive, so we're not gonna do an expedition. Play a game, they said. It will be fun, they said. They never mentioned picking one would be so much trouble. Yeah, we haven't got any game items around. Ooh! Mm hmm. What is that noise? Hmm. We played I Spy and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored of the letter W. W. Walls, I'm assuming. <laughs> Water. Uh, people are hungry and thirsty. All right, well, there we go. We had four phone calls for a thing of the past and after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in the little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow. All right, we should send someone to answer it. I'm gonna say, mm, Mary Jane. Oh, you're tired. Ah, yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, when we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We started exchanging information when the call was cut short. We hope they will get back to them soon. Yes, we do. Alright, well... Uh, things are going uh, fun. Enough of this plain, tasteless water. Dolores is really craving a cup of coffee. Real, true, blue American coffee. The kind that you can drink five cups and still feel sleepy. But where are we going to find that in the wasteland? Well, Dolores' favorite diner is, uh, used to be a few blocks away. Maybe when someone should go on a coffee run. Okay, well, if Dolores wants it, Dolores should go. It's plain and simple, really. All right, she's back. Okay, she looks fine. Our volunteer came back empty-handed. Apparently the diner is now just a sad hole in the ground with some seats lying around. What a letdown. Uh, okay, uh, Mary Jane is hungry. Uh, Timmy is being very brave. Dolores is fine, Ted is fine. All right, we'll leave feeding at the moment. I'm gonna have to send someone out there, honestly. And I'm gonna send Ted out there, I think. Oh, we've been smelling something funny in the shelter ever since we woke up. Sure enough, there was something. Something or someone started a fire and it's already spreading. We can't save everything. What do we save from the flames? Oh no, you're joking. Oh no, um. Oh no, uh, um. Right, let's think because the handbook, the Boy Scout handbook can help fix things, fix things in the future. So I'm going with that, even though we need the radio, but maybe we can fix the radio later. I'm sure that's an element in this game, isn't it? We'll find out. No. Oh. All right, yeah, the radio's busted, but it's still there. Ooh, yeah, things are looking burnt. 
Okay. I am going to leave this episode here for now before we get too deep into things because things are going relatively well and I think this should last for another good while. So I will leave things here for now and we'll pick up in the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Please let me know if you are in the comments. I would really like to know that. And yes. Thank you all so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you could like, comment, subscribe, share this video, I'd really appreciate that too. And I will see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye bye!